Hola amigos, Red Pill Biker here. Been a few days, I know. Um, got kind of caught up in life. Anyway, my channel's grown a lot more. And uh, thanks guys. I don't even know how this gets out there. I am not a algorithmic genius by any stretch. So I don't know how, I don't know how people find it out. But I appreciate all the new subs, all that good stuff. Anyway, you know we're in the series of Simp Recovery. So, welcome to Simps Anonymous. I will be leading this session. I am, in fact, the Red Pill Biker. Alright, step number three. Now, in the 12-step programs over in AA, it states, made a decision to turn our wills and our lives over to the care of God as we understand Him. This one was a little bit tricky to kind of translate over into the MGTOW world. But I think I did it. At least I think I did it. So here's what I got. Made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to living free. Free from the constraints of a failed system and develop a philosophy that works for me. And when I say me, I mean you and me as we develop our own personal philosophy. Of course, as you know, I'm going to push Stoicism. Uh, but even with that, you take it and you apply it to yourself, so it always tweaks it. It's not going to belong to any one person. My philosophy, my personal set of values that gets me out of bed in the morning and carries me through until I go back to bed in the evening may not work for you. I do not suffer from the delusion that I know better than somebody else. Here's one thing I can state as a fact that is true for me and for each one of you, and that is... We have control over our own thoughts, over our own actions, over our perceptions, and over our speech. And one of these days I'll make a, uh, that last one, speech, may sound a little bizarre, but I'll make a video about what I mean by that. But anyway, to break this down a little bit, it starts with making a decision. It has to be an informed decision. And I think that's what people are doing when they look at channels like mine or they read uh, some of the red pill literature that's out there and watch. I mean, there's some there's some great channels out there and, you know, some big ones. You probably already know the big ones. One of my favorite. And I'll just give him a plug, although he certainly doesn't need it from somebody like me is human. I've been watching his stuff for, gosh, three or four years. And I find the guy to be very down to earth and very philosophical. And I like his approach to doing things anyway. So, human, if you ever see this video, hello. But we have to make an informed decision. And that decision um, has to be clear in our minds. We have to kind of know the ins and outs. Of course, there's too many factors ever to really be able to predict an outcome. But we have some control how we guide ourselves. We've got to have some boundaries. And that's what I mean by decision. When you make that decision, it's more than just saying to yourself, okay, I made a decision. I'm going to go MGTOW or whatever. You have to understand, what does that mean for you? MGTOW means men going their own way. So the way I do it and how I live it and how you do it and how you live it could be very different. There'll be some similarities, sure. We're cautious, not only of women, but the society that we live in, we're cautious of that. We're not sure that we can trust everything. We don't know that we necessarily trust authorities. That may be a commonality that, that, that binds us as men together. But other than that, how are you going about doing it? Man, that's how you go about doing it. I mean, I love my lifestyle. I love living in this RV. I love not spending every bit of money I get in. I love it. And I'm sacking away some cash, guys. And, But it doesn't mean that that's the way to do it. It doesn't mean that's right for you. So you make a decision to turn your will and your lives over to just making the simple choice of living a free life. And then understanding that the system that is out there, while it may have worked at one time, it's beginning to implode. Well, it's not beginning to implode. Shit, it's been imploding for 50 years. It's just sort of catching up to us really severely over these last few years. But 
understanding that and then developing a philosophy that works for you. That kind of goes along with the uh, God as we understand it. Okay. I mean, I think that's kind of cool today. He's like, look, you understand God this way. In other words, it's an individual, individual thing. And let's, I'll move it away from the whole God thing and get back to the philosophy thing because that's not what I'm here to talk about. You find the philosophy that works for you. If it's Stoicism, even if you sit there and you find the writings of Marcus Aurelius, one of the things I've done is I take the writings of Marcus Aurelius, I apply them to my life, and then I rewrite them down as if I'm the one who's saying them. So when I go back and I study them and reread these, sure, I'll look at the original manuscripts, but I also look at my own writings and say, oh yeah, this is the way I have interpreted this. So I think that's a good way to start moving yourself towards a philosophy. And you know what? We always write these things on paper. We don't chisel them into stone. Because as you grow as a human being, whether that's growing just because you're getting older as time goes by, or you learn something new or whatever, you can just rip the page out of the book and rewrite it with the new information that you've got. Everything is changing. Everything is in flux no thing remains the same so allow yourself to change allow yourself to be in flux allow yourself to understand that there's no permanence to who you are you're going to be growing and you're going to be evolving all through your life so anyway guys i like that i think we make the decision an informed decision we turn ourselves over to at least one thought which is I'm going to be free, at least free enough to discover life and who I am for myself. And then we develop a philosophy that works for us. We develop a set of patterns that get us through the day. We develop our own principles and our own values. Keeping in line that other human beings are involved and we don't want to do anything to harm them, but things that will help us grow, help us to, to borrow from uh, Abraham Maslow to help us self-actualize. Anyway, guys, life is hard. Don't make it any harder than it needs to be. Keep it real. Adios.